When researchers at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California announced last week that they had achieved the first controlled nuclear fusion reaction to produce more energy than it took to start, they brought humanity one step closer to decades-long dream of harnessing the power of the sun. Not by absorbing its rays from 93 million miles away, as solar panels do, but by igniting, in effect, a miniature star right here on Earth. This latest technological breakthrough, that is nuclear fusion, promises to eliminate radioactive waste. It brings together two atoms so close that they fuse together. This in turn releases exponential amounts of energy, which powers the stars. But as now, scientists are yet to unlock this potential in a lab to bring this promise of clean energy minus the radioactive waste to our homes could take decades. But a planet in peril needs immediate solutions as the clock is ticking away. The Biden administration has said that it aims to make commercial fusion energy a reality by 2032 in the hopes that the still speculative technology could help wean the United States off fossil fuels and reach net zero emissions by 2050. But can this feat be achievable in the future? Because as significant as last week's announcement was, huge technological and economic hurdles still have to be cleared before fusion reaches true viability. For one thing, the lasers that powered the Livermore experiment are terribly inefficient. So while the reaction did produce more energy than the, la than the lasers delivered, it still fell far short of the energy that the lasers needed to draw from the grid to operate. For another, the pellet-sized fuel targets each cost thousands of dollars to manufacture. A commercial fusion power plant would require much more efficient, faster firing lasers and targets that cost only about 25 cents. But some are hopeful that with enough funding, the pace of fusion's development could accelerate if investors now perceive fusion as having taken a leap forward. From a fantasy to a potential highly profitable reality, that stagnation could finally break. Moreover, this is not the first time when an innovation had to face different kinds of hurdles. Back in December 17 of 1903, the pioneers of aviation, Wright brothers, managed to fly their first flight. And just 11 years later, the world's first regularly scheduled heavier-than-air airline took off from the municipal pier in St. Petersburg on New Year's Day, 1914. 